Hello all. So today I'm talking about a Honda with the P0385 code, what it is and how you go about fixing it. So what is a Honda P0385 code? Well, it's a crankshaft position sensor B no signal. And what does this mean? Well, the onboard computer uses the crankshaft position sensor to know the location of the crankshaft as it spins. And it uses this information for timing. And it's seen an error inside this circuit, so it's sending out this code. And the main things it's going to cause is going to be the, either the crankshaft position sensor or in the wiring. And many people will go ahead and just swap out the, the sensor since it's a low cost part. And if that doesn't solve it, then they move on to the wiring. But the wiring is actually pretty simple to check. Also, especially if you have a known good sensor with you already. And what's going on with this wiring is in the middle is going to be a ground wire. And one of these outer pins is going to be a reference voltage. It's going back to the battery. So it could be like 12 volts, 8 volts, 5 volts. It doesn't really matter. It's just always steady voltage. You have to get a schematic for your particular Honda, but it'll always be just steady voltage on one of these outer pins. And then one of these other outer pins is going back to the onboard computer to report what's going on. And what happens with this sensor is that when a piece of metal is directly in front of it, it sends a pulse back to the onboard computer of like 5 volts to say that, that something's in front of it. And so what many mechanics will do is they'll take a known good sensor, they'll attach it to this wiring harness, they'll come in on the back of the pin, they go from ground to the return wire to the onboard computer, they'll put a piece of metal in front of the sensor, and if it goes from like 0 to 5 volts, they know the circuit's good. If it doesn't, then they know there's a problem. And so that, that's a quick, easy way to check it. There's other ways too. Uh, if you're not getting no reference voltage, like from the middle pin to one of these outer pins, you're not getting no voltage at all, which you should be on one of these pins. There's usually a blown fuse. So that's something to check. Be sure to check where a fuse. It's usually located inside the engine compartment. There's usually a fuse box in there. There's usually some kind of fuse that's on this circuit for this and the camshaft position sensor. And sometimes it's inside the car up underneath the dash, but it's usually underneath the hood inside the engine compartment. And that's something to keep in mind too, is to check for a fuse because this harness might not be getting no voltage at all. And there's some YouTube videos if you wanted to check out more on how to do the wiring. But like I said, it's not difficult. And so if you check out the wiring and the harness all looks good and there's no issues going on with that, then you very likely are going to have to change out this crankshaft position sensor. And they're, they're low cost parts for the most part. It costs like 20, 30 bucks. Looks like these are running up around 65, but they're not like super high cost parts or nothing. And when you go to replace one of these crankshaft position sensors, the hardest part is going to be if any other components are in the way because the sensor itself, it's usually pretty simple to swap out. It'll just have like one bolt and, and, a, and a wiring harness going on to it. You pop it out, pop in the new one. But quite commonly, there's some kind of component in the way. Like right here, you can see that the timing belt cover was in the way and had to be removed to be able to get to this sensor. And so these type of things are kind of common. Is it, It'll vary from Honda to Honda. So you have to find it on your vehicle and see what's going on. But that'll be the hardest part is if there's any other parts in the way that you have to remove to get to the crankshaft position sensor. And so that's basically it. I just wanted to give a real quick brief overview of how you go about fixing a P0385 code on a Honda. If you have anything to add, please comment down below. If you have any questions, ask me and I'll try to answer them. If this video helps you, please click like, please click subscribe and have a good day.